I want to take uh, several devotional sessions to look at something I'm calling paradoxes of the gospel. There are several definitions of the paradox. One is a statement that on the face of it seems contradictory, but is actually true. Uh, second definition that the dictionary will give us is that it is a truth that is actually contrary to received opinion, or in other words, common, common opinion. Um, really, the gospel itself is an entire contradiction to the world's way of thinking. The world's way of thinking is backwards. Only they think the gospel's backwards. Um, but the gospel has some things in it that um, are completely true, but initially they may seem like they're contradictory. And they're scattered throughout Scripture. I suppose there's more than I have. Um, we could find more than the number I have. But the first one I want to look at is found in the 32nd chapter of Genesis. Now this involves the occasion where Jacob wrestled with the angel and the paradox that I think we can see here it's repeated in other places in the scripture is this surrender is victory victory is achieved by giving up in this case Jacob wrestled with the angel and it seems that the initial part of the wrestling with the angel, Jacob is trying to overcome the angel. He's trying to prevail. He's trying to get what he wants. And finally, as the story goes on, the angel, who turns out, by the way, to be God, seeing that Jacob wouldn't quit, struck him and it seems that he likely put his hip joint out of joint. Now that would be horribly painful. Uh, that kind of changed Jacob's attitude. Um, and Jacob at that moment went from seeking to beat the angel and out wrestle the angel to just hanging on for dear life, pleading his case. And this is a good illustration spiritually, theologically, of the experience of entire sanctification. Jacob had already had what's called his conversion experience when he met God at Bethel. And then 20 years later, he is fleeing from his offended father-in-law Laban, and he's heading back to Isaac, his father. And the angel of the Lord, who's God, meets him and initiates this wrestling match with him. And Jacob, after his hips put out of joint, he just holds on to the angel rather than now trying to subdue him. And he says, please just bless me. And God, in the form of the angel of the Lord, answers seemingly un related. Well, what's your name? Well, the name Jacob has a bad meaning to it. And unfortunately, Jacob's nature coincided with the badness of this name. Jacob means trickster, um, deceiver, or one who comes along behind and nips at the heel and kicks one foot behind the other and you fall. It's a, um, another word is supplanter, one that by deceit takes what belongs to someone else. That's what the word Jacob meant. And it comes from the birth of Jacob right after his twin brother Esau. And when they come out of the womb, Jacob reached out and grabbed Esau's heel. So he was a heel grasper and they named him because of that event. Well, his character lined up with it. And so the angel says to Jacob, what's your name? 
He answers, Jacob, no. God knew what his name was. Jacob knew that God knew what his name was. And when he confessed, my name is Jacob, he really confessed the twistedness of his heart. And God responded this way. Immediately, he said, we won't call your name Jacob anymore. From now on, your name will be Israel, which is Prince of God. And here's what I think is the paradox. God said to him, you have prevailed. And he blessed him there, gave him what he asked for. So God gave to Jacob the, he, if it were a rest, true wrestling match or boxing match, God picked Jacob's hand up and held it up in the air. You won. But he won by quitting. He won by giving up. He won by admitting his deep need and that he could do nothing about it and that he was helpless. Here he is with a corrupt heart and a dislocated hip in front of God. And God says, you've won. That's a paradox. He won by giving up. So do we. And when it comes to the will of God, the works of God we need in our heart, a thousand other things we encounter in life where we <clears throat> must come to the place, Lord, your way, your pathway, your will be done. I don't know what to do. You choose for me. When we do that, when we quit, we win. Father in heaven, that's a hard lesson for us to learn. But giving up, surrendering to you, is the surest, most certain path to victory in Jesus. Help us never forget it. May we practice it. In your name, amen.